Hey guys, we're back with our Knot of the Week series and my big fish hook for another fishing knot. Today we're going to be tying the uni knot, so let's get right into it. So before we tie the uni knot, I want to go over a couple of things real quick. So this is also called the Grinner knot, or the G-R-I-N-N-E-R -N -N -E is how you spell it. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And then the more common term is the uni knot. So one of the benefits of the uni knot is that you can, you can tie this in the semi-darkness, you know, so it's uh, a little easier than some of the fishing knots to tie when you may not be able to see as well because it's fairly simple um, in terms of kind of repetitive motion. So the first step is to wrap twice around the eye of the hook. So we've got paracord here simulating our fishing line. So the next step is to kind of form a big D with the line. I'm actually going to pull a little more slack here so we have more to work with. But you're going to wrap around the two, basically the two standing parts of this line now. Um, you want to get enough slack to wrap about seven or eight times. And again, with, with monofilament line, like fishing line, um, this is a little bit easier when it comes to the next step, which you'll see in a second. So I'm going to pull this, give myself enough slack here to hopefully make about seven or eight wraps. It's two, three. All right, so once we have that, the next step is to pull this way um, with the standing part or the tail here. So I'm actually going to slide up with the paracord so it does the same type of thing. It's a little bit easier um, to kind of show you what it would be like if you were working with monofilament. Paracord doesn't want to move as easily as monofilament um, but if you are using monofilament at this step, uh, you can also wet the monofilament. It'll help it kind of slide on the, on the line itself. So once you've got that tightened up, then you're just going to grab the knot itself and push it back down to the, the eye of the hook. So again, that's the uni knot and one of the more simpler knots to tie fishing-wise in the dark. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.